Hi there, I am Sujata, founder of Grace USMLE Tutoring. I partnered with Achievable to create a comprehensive USMLE Step 1 course for medical students. It combines my years of USMLE tutoring experience with Achievable's powerful software. To learn more and gain access to a free trial, visit achievable.me. Hi everyone, I'm Sujata, founder of Grace USMLE and USMLE author at Achievable. Today's video is about fluid shifts that happen in different conditions. 60% of the total body weight is water. Of the total body water, two third is the intracellular fluid or ICF, which is present within the cells. And one third is extracellular fluid or ECF, which is present outside the cells. Fluid shifts between compartments to equalize the osmolarity between two sides of a cell, that is between the ICF and the ECF. Water moves by osmosis from a compartment with low osmolarity into a compartment with high osmolarity. The plasma osmolarity is determined mainly by sodium and to a small extent by glucose and in some conditions to a small extent by the blood urea nitrogen as well. Volume contraction. Volume contraction means a decrease in the volume of extracellular fluid or ECF. Depending on whether the plasma osmolarity stays the same, decreases or increases, volume contraction may be isoosmotic, hypoosmotic or hyperosmotic respectively. Isoosmotic volume contraction is seen in burns and diarrhea. In both of these conditions, we are not only losing plain water, but water with electrolytes, which is of the same osmolarity as the plasma. ECF volume will decrease because we are losing plasma or water with electrolytes, but there will be no fluid shift because there is no net change in osmolarity of the plasma. Hypoosmotic volume contraction is seen in hypoaldosteronism. Either there is a deficiency of aldosterone or the receptor is insensitive to the actions of aldosterone. Because of that, body is not able to retain sodium, which leads to a decrease in the osmolarity of the extracellular fluid. Since there is a decrease in osmolarity of the ECF, there will be fluid shift and fluid will shift from the ECF into the ICF. As a result, ECF volume will decrease, whereas ICF volume will increase. Hyperosmotic volume contraction is seen in fever, sweating, and diabetes insipidus. In all of these conditions, body is losing plain water without electrolytes. It results in an increase in osmolarity in the ECF which leads to a fluid shift from the ICF into the ECF. Volume expansion. Volume expansion means there is an increase in volume of the ECF or extracellular fluid. Depending on whether the osmolarity of the ECF stays the same, decreases or increases, volume expansion may be isotonic, hypotonic or hypertonic respectively. Isoosmotic volume expansion is seen after infusion of intravenous normal saline. As it is the same osmolarity as the ECF, there is no net fluid shift. The ECF volume increases while the ICF volume stays the same. Hypoosmotic volume expansion is seen in SIADH or syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretion. There is retention of plain water, which reduces the osmolarity of the ECF. Fluid shifts from the ECF into the ICF, increasing the ICF volume. Hyperosmotic volume expansion is seen in high salt intake. The ECF osmolarity will increase, which leads to a shift of fluid from the ICF into the ECF. So let's summarize the important changes in fluid compartments. In isoosmotic volume contraction, 
the osmolarity is staying the same, ECF decreases while ICF stays the same. In hypoosmotic volume contraction, both the osmolarity and the ECF volume will decrease while the ICF volume will increase. In hyperosmotic volume contraction, the osmolarity will increase while both the ICF and the ECF volume will decrease. In isoosmotic volume expansion, the osmolarity is going to stay the same. The ECF volume will increase. The ICF volume will stay the same as well. In hypoosmotic volume expansion, the osmolarity is going to decrease while ECF and ICF volume will increase. In hyperosmotic volume expansion, the osmolarity is going to increase, the ECF volume is going to increase, while the ICF volume will decrease. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helped you clear some concepts on fluid shifts between body compartments.